it's Matt here and welcome to a brief overview of the Circuit Cube's Bluetooth upgrade kit. Each pack comes with one base unit with the inbuilt battery, two motors, one charging cable, four connection cables of two pairs of different lengths, plus a mix of official and copycat Lego pieces and an instruction guide. On to some more technical notes, the Circuit Cube has a total of three outputs labelled A, B and C. The A output is duplicated by both the port and the metal rods pointing to one side. The unit has a slide switch for Bluetooth control, an off position and an on position which is full power to all outputs in a certain direction. The motor has three Technic peg holes on both sides along with connection points to both the sides and rear of the main unit for cables. Overall footprint sizes are, for the motor, a 2x4 footprint with a 2 brick height, and for the base unit, a 4x4 footprint with a 2 brick height. After some charging of the base unit, I built the tracks unit as displayed on the front box art, and gave this a small test with the app so I could familiarise myself with the controls. Afterwards, and after cutting down a 2L axle into a 1.5 axle due to some awkward spacing of the motor, I assembled a test chassis with a single powered axle. This is a similar size to a railroad tug, Unimog or similar vehicle and it was very bare bones. Aside from the actual chassis with motor, there was also the Bluetooth control module and enough pieces to use a brick model railroad and knuckle coupler for some weighted pull tests. The track used was Trix Bricks injection moulded S32 straight track lengths to reduce the amount of track joints and provide a standardised test environment. Initial tests showed that only one brick model railroad of reefer was all the single motor could handle, this partly being due to a bad order reefer car which needed some remedial work undertaken and lack of grip caused by a single motorised axle. The car remedied, the test loco had weight added via a Lego old, uh, boat weight mounted directly above the drive axle and afterwards the whole unit assembled much better being able to haul two reefers and my cement version of the USRA hopper without much issue although there is still some initial wheel set when starting off. Overall, I'm quite pleased with the capacities and functionality of the uh, Circuit Cube's Bluetooth kit, although you cannot currently control multiple outputs via a single slider, which by far is the biggest drawback and something which I've raised with the manufacturer. Aside from this drawback, I definitely recommend the products and I'm looking forward to what further is available via Circuit Cubes and the manufacturer.